Pedro. Hi there guys, welcome to the second in the series Barbados is Music. I am the Admiral and with me is my co-host Carol Roberts. Hi Admiral, so great to be in company with you again. Well, in our first episode we took you to the After Dark Nightclub. And this week we've come a little closer uh, to Bridgetown along the south coast and we are at the boatyard. But sitting directly to my left is one of the founding members of the band Coalition, Mr. Boo Husbands. I, I Hi, know. Boo. How are Hi, you doing? Girl. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Let's start this story with you working in St. Vincent. Well, if my memory serves me correctly, there was a band called Touch, who used to rehearse just at the corner where I was in my apartment. I used to go and listen to them, and they invited me one night to go and hear them at the Aquatic Club. I got there about 11 o'clock, and these men was playing soccer. At 2 o'clock in the morning, they were still playing. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody didn't move, and I was like in awe. The level of musicianship was high. Admiral could tell you because he knows these guys. Yeah. St. Vincent. Jules yeah. Williams, yeah. Brian Cleve Alexander, Scott. Cleve Scott. Yeah. And I thought, Barbie yeah. isn't going like this though. Because we were accustomed to playing two 45 minute sets, and that's it for that's the night. That's it, yes. Right? So I came back home, um, this is the end of 1987, and I spoke to Glenn Martin and David Jordan about the idea. Glenn was a drummer. He was the first drummer, and David Jordan was David the first bass, bass player. Yes. Then Glenn led us to the key man, right, behind Coalition, David Theophilus Hooper. Mm -hmm. The other thing was Caribbean music, but focused on soccer. And then the first gig we had was at the Island Inn, or here's night of 1988. Um, David Eswick, the Honorable David Eswick, played guitar for about the first four gigs before he went off to medical school. And Jerry mm -hmm. um, was on the vocals along with Lillian Lord. And um, that's, where, that's where Coalition basically started. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you keep talking about we, and I was wondering how did the name Coalition come about? Yeah. We were looking for a name, and, and Jerry, I think it's and Jerry. And Jerry said, well, there's really a coalition of people <laughs> from all Easy over the place. Yeah. And then it was like, you know, Dining mm -hmm. coalition, and um, that, that's that's how coalition started. A lot of musicians passed through coalition. Um, at one time, we had and good musicians. Um, we had Ricky Emmy on bass and vocals, Eugene Barton on bass and vocals, a guy from Ghana called Maxi Gavaya, yes, uh, Maxi G on bass. We got um a guy from Jamaica that came in to play keyboards. There's a guy called Leroy Romans. Leroy, when he left Barbados, walked straight into Third World, wow. into Third World Band, and was one of Jamaica's top producers for a while. So that's the caliber of people that came through Coalition. And there's one part of the Coalition story that is important. I mean, really, really important. In the early days, Coalition became well known through the region as a backing band. And all the Trinidadian artists that would come to Barbados would be backed mm -hmm. by Coalition. Clips are spectacular. Clips are right. Mm -hmm. After and Jerry left, um, we auditioned some people okay. and it ended up with Rupee. We ended up Rupee, TC, Adrian Clark up front. They brought a new energy, right? And and it gave us a chance to be dynamic because Adrian can sing a good ballad as good as anybody. So can TC. Yeah. But what Rupi had was a vibe with people and he could do that dance all thing good. He was sexy. Yeah, Plain well, I, I, I looked at him a couple yeah. times, but I didn't really find he was too sexy car. I didn't look in the dark either way. I say right? so. Use this one. And the synergy between the three up front was great. The musicians had fun. Um, certainly we used to have a lot of fun uh, here on the boat, in the boat yard, the stage used to be there and then it moved, I went there Not where it is now. Yeah. now, but on Tuesday nights, man, on Tuesday nights, boat yard used to be hot. I want to thank you so much for sharing this story, jogging our memories quite a bit, Admiral. Quite, quite. Yeah, but Very certainly brilliant. sharing the story and I think we can say on behalf of Barbadians, both here and wherever they are, that they're grateful to the sound of Coalition. 
And thank you, thank you, Admiral. You're thank, welcome, thank everyone, Barbados, for loving coalition, and for the people who can fill up Kensington on the 29th. And I'm sure that coalition will do you all proud. And if they got TV in heaven, and you watching this Hooper, we are going to maximum skin out. <laughs> this one is Seriously, for you. my rest in peace, <laughs> my brother. Thanks, boo. Yeah, man, sure. <laughs> It's an explosion of music like you've never seen. It's the best of Barbados at 50. It's Digicel Barbados is Music. One night, one stage, three of the best Bajan bands. Square one. Crossfire. All together for the first time at Kensington Oval on November 29 for a once-in-a-lifetime performance. It's hit after hit after hit. It's Barbados is Music. In our very first interview, Admiral and I had the great honor of having a chat with Adrian Boo Husbands, founder of Coalition. And I'm sure if you listened to that carefully, you would have heard him mention one name over and over again. And uh, he was just keeping kudos on the commitment and dedication of a gentleman called, he said, David Theophilus Hooper to Coalition and its performances and success not only in Barbados but beyond these shores. And so I'm so pleased to have a chat now with Yannick Hooper, David son. Welcome, Yannick, to Barbados' music. Thank you for having me. Hi. Boo waxed lyrical about your dad and what a wonderful man and the tremendous support he gave to Coalition. But I want you to tell me about growing up in a household with David. And that, is that really his middle name, Theophilus? Yep, Theophilus. <laughs> growing up in a household with David Theophilus Hooper. Correctly said, yeah. <laughs> well, it was, I would say, what sparked my interest into soca. You know, a lot of times they say that someone is a soca baby. Yeah. I always tell people I'm a literally a soca baby. Wow. So coming home from school every day, I would always want to go back out with them to rehearsals, to events. And it was really an extraordinary experience just having him as a dad and just seeing his work that he would put into music, yes. to put into coalition. And it, it, it was what sparked my love for music. And did you have conversations with your dad? Yeah, we had many conversations. Um, a lot of times, obviously, I was very small. Yes. And what I respected that he would still take his time to explain everything. Personally, I just used to enjoy seeing him move, seeing the command he had and, and, and just like in decision making. So the experience growing up with him as my dad was, was very, very great. And it is the reason that I'm in Soka. Did you always know you wanted to be in the performing arts? Definitely not. When I was younger, in primary school, I was Victor Ludorum. I was heavily into sports. I used to play every sport under the sun. But there was a time in secondary school when we had a band and I just decided to sing. They wanted to do all different genres and I decided to do soca. And from there, I knew that this is what I definitely want. Fish, not every favorite dish. Well seasoned, you know we can't miss. Why? Take your hand on my pie. Or else you must say bye bye. Oh, wonder where to go. Oysters or gap. Let me know. In your household, music wise, what did you grow up listening to? What was played in your home? The classics, the classics. Um, I would like to call myself an old soul when it comes to music. <laughs> a lot of the music that people will call back in time or vintage is music that's very close to my heart. All the old crossfires, the old coalition, like their albums is something that I would listen to over and over and over. Why Soka? What, what makes it the perfect fit for Yannick Hooper? I just look at it as it is who we are as Caribbean people. So I'll give you a joke. Um, there was a point in my life where I used to play the drums okay. and the only beat 
I could do was a soca beat. Couldn't do reggae, couldn't do hip hop, soca. No. So I look at it as that it's something that's natural to me and us as West Indian people. When you hear the overlapping drum pattern of a soca song, you have to move. So that's why I just look at it as no other choice but the genre of soca. I would tell anyone I have a very great life because anytime I go around different crowds and think people just come and they will either like sing one of my song lyrics or they will come and like tease me about something that I said in a line and they always seem so happy. Do you produce music pitched directly towards a younger demographic or is it for everyone? It's for everyone. Um, I would say as West Indians, like we, we, we all love our thing mm -hmm. and, and my focus is never really to target just young people and, and leave out the older. I, I want to do a song that when you press play, you could be old, you could be 90, you could be two. But it must be happy music. Happy music, yeah, yes. and, and with a purpose too. At the end of the day, if we're not making music with a message, it's you just kind of singing for singing. Say that. Cause they don't wanna to have a time, so we not listening to them bad mind. Just watch me jump up, na 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 na, na 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 na, na 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 na. Make a back and we jump up, na 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 na, na 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 na, na na na. Are you writing as well? For sure. For sure, we're writing songs for me, writing songs for theatre. Um, I wrote a song the, in the upcoming production, Mira Mira. Show Me a Hero. Show yes. Me a Hero, yeah. We're writing songs for other people. So the writing aspect is something that I really value and that's definitely what I'm, I keep doing. Five years from now, career-wise, where do you want to be? The top of soca music, the top of soca music. And I'm willing to do anything necessary and to put in the work that I have to put in to climb the ladders and to make my country proud. Mm -hmm. so, I don't know how to, how to pose this question really and truly, and I, I don't want to make you uncomfortable, but what would you say to your dad now? Well, I, I actually kind of look at it a little different. I look at it that he's been with me every step of the way. Uh -huh. So more than what would I say now, it's just kind of like, look where we are yeah I, I definitely believe that his presence has guided me and, and has helped me to achieve what i've achieved so far mm -hmm. and i know that he will be with me for my entire so career. it's not just for you it's for you and your dad for sure mm -hmm. so i just look at it as a journey and he's traveling it with me all, right. all the way i want to wish you the best of luck and thank you so much for sharing not only your memories of your dad but also giving us a little insight into what you see for yourself, not only for now, but for the future as well. Best of luck, Yannick Hooper. Thank you. This is Yannick Hooper representing for Barbados' music. The only place to be November 29th. Crossfire, Coalition, Square One, Three Titans. What else you want? Bigger. Barbados is, is music. It's an explosion of music like you've never seen. It's the best of Barbados at 50. It's Digicel Barbados is music. One night, one stage, three of the best Bajan bands. Square one. Crossfire. Coalition. All together for the first time at Kensington Oval on November 29 for a once-in-a-lifetime performance. It's hit after hit after hit. It's Barbados is music. So we're at the boatyard. A wonderful balmy evening in Barbados. Sun just about going down. And it puts you almost in a nostalgic mood, correct? I didn't say romantic, I said nostalgic. <laughs> You're painting a nice picture. I Beautiful felt, picture. I felt some raindrops <laughs> a few moments ago. And I was saying that to say that this stretch of road has probably had more nightclubs and places of entertainment per square foot than most other places. Yes, this stretch of road just outside of the boatyard is where we lost one of the greatest entertainers oh, yes. in Barbados, yes. the, the late Jackie Oka. Yes. So let's go to the garrison and come all the way down to what is now Independence Square. And to take us on that trip is none other 
than Richard Stout, Mr. Richard Dick Stout. So let's start at the garrison because you have a remarkable memory. Oh, I've yes, told you this yeah, several yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. Let's start at the garrison and come all the way down. Places of entertainment. When you leave the garrison, you come down just after you pass the, where the electric company is. There was a place called the Staircase. That's right. Right where Pandora side of the way. Pandora side of the way. Upstairs. The same, in the same location. Yes. And then you come a little further down on your right. You but wait, which you don't go so fast. Okay. Because you miss you miss the island in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The island in is, is behind it's that. It's behind that. That's right. And then a little ways from there you had on your right hand side the bird's nest. Ah, still that's, there. Yes, that's yes. that no, I think that's defunct now. Uh, yes, I think it's, it's closed and dilapidated. The, yes. the, yeah. the building is still there. The building is still there. Yes, but that's where we used to go when we left the island in on Monday night and uh, hold in and we go there and hang out and, and Rose. And, and, yes, and the Rose. Rose's name yes. is Rose. Rose. Yes. The chips and fish and oh, yes, 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 it was yes. really fantastic. Yes. And then we come a little further down now, just up and uh, just opposite the bird's nest. Was Rudy's in? Okay. Rudy's in on the left hand side where the boats you, you go to the road by the boat by the police yes, boys club. Yes, yes, yes. Right, and Rudy's in was situated right there. Ernie Small would leave his plane where we was playing in the hotels and go there at night and play. That was Rudy's in. And then you come a little further down the road, then you had the Bel Air, and you had. When you say further down, give me a landmark. Okay, when you when you pass the the family planning. Um, okay. The, 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 the family planning. Uh -huh. The family planning on your right. Yes. The family like the family planning, and then you had you had um, the Bel Air, where the guys hang out till four or five o'clock in the morning. And that was a jazz club. That ja was a jazz club, and uh, you would go there and find Greer Miller. Uh, you would find Ernie Small when he's finished playing. Where he's playing Keith Campbell. And uh, Mark Wilson used to play the mother fiddle, and, you know, you know, a lot of people don't know that, you know, so everything was just very, very local, very Barbadian and very informal. But great music. Oh, wonderful music. I mean, I met Nina Simone there, you know, Nina Simone, she comes to Barbados, she goes to the Bel Air. I mean, people left their homes at three or four o'clock in the morning and went to the Bel Air because entertainment was there till two wee hours in the morning. You know, Alverna del, the late Alverna del Congo, all the guys hang out there. So if you didn't see somebody during the, the week, you know, if you go to the Bel Air, you have to see them there. And then you come a little further down, and there's a place, there was a place called the Great Neck. The Great Neck on your left hand side, just before you get to go to the road that takes you to Nelson Street. Yeah, the Great Neck was right there. A lady called Doris uh, used to run that, that joint for, uh, at, at that time. And then you come a little further down, and then the number one record shop, the number one record shop where that used to be, used to be number one jazz club on your right hand side, where the guys went and hang out also. You know, so those were the places that I remember. Do you recall a place called Harry's Night Tree? Yes, I missed that. I missed that, Addy. Thank you very much for that. Harry's Night Tree was on the right hand side, just opposite the Great Neck. Right. And just, just near the area where Jack Yopo died. Oh. That, and that, I that. didn't hear you mention Gas Rose. Gas Rose. Gas Rose came yeah. late. That's right. Gas Rose came a little late. And that was for the yes. back of, uh, that open, near the open window to the sea. That's right. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Just before we leave mm -hmm. this area. With the rain falling. And we can hear it. It's really my name. You see, so I told you. Yeah. I felt some rain drop. But Richard, just before we leave this area, I've always heard about the YMPC. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just if you made the right turn, Right. Uh, yes. Going up back as well. Right. There was yes. the YMC. What, yes. Any memories at all of the YMPC? Oh, the memories of the YMPC is phenomenal. That's why. That's why I got married. Wow. I met my, my I met my ex-wife at the YMPC. I sang with the BRC, and um, she would come and stand right in front of the band and look me straight in my eyes. I was singing on, on Saturday nights with the, with the BRC. I want to thank you so much for consenting to have this chat with us. It has been my pleasure. On a rainy but wonderful well, Wednesday I afternoon. Would miss Admiral Nelson and Carl Roberts invite me somewhere I don't go. I will have to have two broken legs. And I drinks on the house, huh? <laughs> but but I, I also want to say, Richard, this is just skimming the thing at the top because we haven't even gone in oh, yes, to, teen to several other aspects yeah, of your life. To Spooge. One cannot question yeah. the, oh, yes. the level of dedication that you've made, not only, of course, 
to the landscape, general landscape of Barbados, but over the years you've been able to bring out so many young people who are not only here in Barbados successful, but all over the Taking world. Taking the world by storm. And doing good things. And we're going to be chatting to one of them and who's sitting right behind you. <laughs> and that coming is up. why I call you Sir Richard <laughs> still. You've been calling me that before. Anybody else. Yeah, Sir so Richard. Right yes. so Richard. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, my Thank pleasure. Thank you so much. Yeah. Enjoy. Thank you. Ice cream and topping control me. Chocolate, please help me. Yeah. So this young one that's up here run out the party. Everybody say it. I mean, the girls want some and sweet like ice cream. So when the chocolate chips in between, just like something from out of the dream. Oh, ice cream. Barbados' music is definitely rupee. Let's welcome him to another episode of Barbados' music. Hey, my brother, thank you. Definitely, definitely a blessing to be here, man. And seeing that you are a traveling man, mm -hmm. let me also welcome you back to Barbados. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no place like coming home to the rock, man. Nothing like coming home to the rock. Well, we've heard Real that. Thing. We've heard that in your song. At one time, rupee called the Sean Paul mm -hmm. of soca music. Mm. Uh, that's it, out. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's my that's my my good friend, man. So that's a compliment. It w I wanted to know. Mm. Do you consider that a compliment? Yeah, man. Um, you know, good friend. He's done amazing things. We're on the same label together. Wow. Um, he opened doors for Caribbean artists, not only dancehall, reggae, but soca artists as well. Let's take a journey all the way back because we had Richard Stout on the show. Mm. And um, I know you had your experience with Richard Stout. Was that the start for Rupi? Um, it, I wouldn't necessarily say it was a start. Um, as you would know, I, I come from a family that, you know, had music as a, as a big part of their life from the time I was born. Two older brothers who were heavily into music. Yeah. Um, Joe and Ronnie, as you know, the announcer. Even in school, um, here in, Bar in, in Barbados at Harrison College, you know, I was, I was involved with music because when I, my brothers were, were living in England, Germany, they were performing and I would go on stage with them from a young age of six and then when I came to Barbados I would compete in um, school talent shows and then eventually uh, Richard Stout Team Talent. So it was definitely a massive launching pad for me but uh, certainly not the start. It was announced for the first time ever that a car would be given away and a, a good brethren of mine, Horseman, he said, look my man we entering this area, we got the rims done by off already <laughs> and it was such an amazing experience you know in terms of the camaraderie in terms of the energy, in terms of the mentorship from Richard and, and, and his team at the time, and then the support of family and friends, and um, it was life changing. Yeah, it was well, life changing for me. What did you guys do with the car? Well, at that time, to be honest with you, my brother, I wasn't very well off. <laughs> couldn't really afford insurance, couldn't afford to put it on the road. And, and then um, sold. Well, after Richard Stout, um, I would perform locally on the circuit as the Teen Talent winner. Um, I was a member actually of the Powerhouse crew back then yeah. as a DJ. A lot of people don't know that I actually used to be a DJ, DJ Red Label. And there was one competition <laughs> <laughs> where Admo was actually the judge. Yeah. And um, I entered, the first entered DMZ. And I tried to mix, I think, a Bob Marley song with some of that abstract thing. And Admo was like, Let's just nah. say it, it don't work <laughs> in your favor. Right? He gave me the axe, you know. <laughs> Eventually, just after that coalition, you know, they were restructuring their front line and they were doing auditions and um, I did an audition with them and, and, I, and I, got the, I got the part with coalition. The experience with the band, I can say, has, has been nothing but a benefit to me. Um, when you look at the incredible talent that made up coalition, some of the finest musicians in Barbados, um, some of the finest vocalists, you know, Adrian Clark, TC, uh, Pee Wee was actually yes. in, in the mix up at one yes. point. Um, their knowledge, their experience, you know, managed by Mr. David Hooper, may rest in peace. Um, it, 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 was, it was truly a, a tremendous experience in terms of me building up confidence, courage, you know, developing myself as an artist, uh, creating my brand and, and my, my unique blend and application to the music. Because my initial role in Coalition was not necessarily as a lead singer. People, are you ready? This is Coalition coming back out the party. Oh, we tell 'em after me like from Barbados going for a tour. Preach it, preach it, the people be sure. And such a touch when they knock on the door. Coalition must be rough on the dance floor. It it saw me tran transition from being that side artist to actually doing soca music. Yes. First song which would have been um, a song written by Edwin Yearwood. Thunder. Yep. Thunder. Thunder. Yeah. And. Um, 
moving from being that side dancer artist to you know becoming a, a, a soca, soca artist. Tanda would have been our first uh, taste of Trinidad and Tobago. It was that era that we called the, the Bajan Invasion. We went in with Tanda, um, which was you know doing exceptionally well. Then the following year, I believe we came with Ice Cream, which um, I actually I actually penned, and. Um, then for the next seven, eight, nine years, you continuously. At that time, you know, I was working a full-time job and I had done my associate degree here in Barbados in graphic design. I was working with Lonsdale and uh, McCann Erickson as a senior graphic artist, you know, and I, and I reached a point, I reached a crossroad in my life where I said, listen, I have to dedicate my energy to one of these things. And I chose music in the year 2000. Uh, left Coalition, released Jump that year, and Insomnia and, um, Man, 16 years later, this is where I am, still doing it. Very, very blessed. And you've got one of the biggest patriotic songs mm -hmm. in the country. Wow. Yeah, 166 square miles of pure love, pure smile. I am a patriot, yeah, a patriot, yeah. Rose and crystal blue sea, one nothing with me. I am a patriot, I'm a patriot, yeah. I'm a patriot. I took the vibe to Chris Allman. You know, his personal friend of mine, shout out Chris. And um, we, we worked on that song um, relentlessly to get it right. We did multiple versions. You know, we were back and forth with him, Andrew Denny, as to how the feeling of the song was being conveyed and the emotion. And I, I don't think I could have done it better anywhere else, man. Chris nailed every single element of the tune. And it, it just just talking about it, you know, for me to see what that song has done for Barbados and the way it's touched people and the way they've embraced it almost like a, a second national anthem. It is. It Words is. can't describe yeah. describe the feeling when you create a work as such. You very, know? very big song. Very, very yeah. big song. Yeah. Rupi appears at Kensington Oval when the three bands meet, of course, it's Coalition, Crossfire and Square One. You get a chance to see him live at Kensington on the 29th of November. Thank you so much, Rupi. Certainly a blessing, man. Can't wait. Barbados is, is music. Gem of the Caribbean Sea, one nothing with we. I am a Bajan, I am a Bajan. Yo, November 29th, Barbados' music, Crossfire, Coalition, Square One. One night, one stage, history in the making. Don't miss it, I'll be there. Yeah, man. It's an explosion of music like you've never seen. It's the best of Barbados at 50. It's Digicel Barbados is Music. One night, one stage, three of the best Bajan bands. Square one. Crossfire. Coalition. All together for the first time at Kensington Oval on November 29 for a once-in-a-lifetime performance. It's hit after hit after hit. It's Barbados is Music. Well, that's our presentation of the second in the series, Barbados is Music. And Carl, what a great program it was, if I could say oh, so Oh, yes. Myself. Wonderful to reminisce with Richard. Wonderful to look forward with Yannick. And wonderful to stay right in the moment with my boy, Rupi. Yeah, the journey of <laughs> Rupi, the journey of Richard Stout, absolutely yeah, fantastic. The founding of Coalition. Yes, and the great memories of the boatyard. Wow. And the boatyard still continues to thrive. Look at this view, huh? It's beautiful, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Only happens in the Caribbean, only happens in Barbados, where Barbados is music. Yeah, Kensington Oval, November 29th. So until next week, have a good one. Let's go. Gem of the Caribbean Sea, yeah. one nothing with me. I am a bitch, John.